This week on Sundays with Sally, it's a field trip. I'm with my old friend Trevor here. We're down at Elmore. We're talking motors. Check it out. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the uh, water pumps and things you guys got going on here to set you guys apart from everybody else? Uh, one of the big things we try to pride ourselves on is serviceability. Uh, and we started making our own uh, crank mounted raw water pumps here. Um, we get the castings out of our Michigan location. And you can actually see at this location, at this station, um, we press in the bearings and the seals and the pump shaft itself. Um, once they're all put together, they get put on this cart and they directly feed the lines to increase efficiency. So it's your 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 proprietary housing. Yep. You're not buying this from somebody else. Just well, one more thing you guys are all doing in-house. Our stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> What sets you guys apart here? I mean, this obviously is exhaust manifold, right? We've got our catalyst in there, so we're EPA compliant, right? Yeah, these are actually off of our GDI engines. Uh, it's a five-star emissions engine. Uh, we're actually offering right now a seven-year, 1,000-hour warranty on them. 90% wow. um, of the manifold itself is actually closed cool. So for those brackish applications or those salt water applications, um, you don't have to worry about corroding your manifolds. And then this part here, the exhaust adapter, is actually the only section of the manifold that touches raw water. So you're getting your water injection right here. Yep. Coming right Straight out. Straight out the exhaust. And you got your glycol coming at the bottom, coming out. Yep. That's awesome. That's an incredible warranty. Yeah. That's Doesn't great. get better than that. All right. So after the motors have come in, they've gotten painted. You guys have assembled them. You put the manifolds on. You've done your water pumps. Uh, what are we doing here? What's what's this step? So this is our hot test stall. Being that all the engines are hand built, we want to make sure that they're put together correctly and they run just like they're supposed to. Uh, so when they get to our boat manufacturers, they don't have any issues when it comes to install or when they decide they're going to like test the boat. Um, so they go through a pretty rigorous test here um, before they make it to the actual QC and they get their Ilmore stickers put on them. Um, once it's done here and they do get to the boat manufacturers, especially Formula and Mastercraft along with Aviara Boats, uh, we actually have support on site every week at those locations. To, if anything pops up or if they need anything from us, we're there to help them and make sure we get square wet. And when you're doing the hot test and you guys are data logging everything, right? So you kind of got a born on, as it were. Yeah, everything that can be tracked through the ECU is being tracked and recorded. Uh, so if we ever need to in the future, we can actually go back and see how the engine was performing and where everything was you're initially born, yeah. That's awesome. All right, so now we've gone through the whole process. The motor's been painted, we've assembled it. We're in the final run area here where you guys do all your break-in run. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about the serviceability and what, what motor we're looking at right here. So this is our 6.2 GDI. This is gonna end up in a formula boat. Uh, with formula, especially in the twin applications, they're more than gracious and give us enough room uh, to access the front of the motor. So our train of thought was to make things accessible for our supporting dealers, um, our technicians, and ultimately the end user if they have to get in there without crawling around their engine compartment. Uh, so on the front of the engine, we have our flush attachment uh, so that you can flush your engine. After every use, we recommend with the salt water applications. You, want to, you don't want to leave that salt water in there for too long. Uh, then we have your coolant top off, your oil filter right here on top, along with your power steering top off if you need to. Uh, we also have your fuel water separator and your impeller all located on the front of the engine. And then right here, if you need for winterization or if you need to drain down your block, you can just pull the cap and good to go. Everything's easy, everything's simple. Go by the motto, if it's not easy to do, you're not gonna do it. I think this is kind of hit a home run right here for you guys. Yeah, sure is, man. This is, uh, you know, 430 horsepower and 470 foot-pounds of torque. So she's ready to go. We're gonna wrap up hot test here and then this will be shipped out to Formula within the next day. That is awesome. Well, Trevor, thank you very much for showing us around, talking to us about Elmore. Thank you for having us here. Anytime, buddy, thanks for coming. Awesome.